So what am I going to report on today? Mako, or should I say Emperor, at SeaWorld San Diego has been announced. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogstubor, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update from SeaWorld San Diego. This is the start of our IAPA content. Now of course IAPA is well underway, uh, we've got plenty of announcements to tickle your fancy. So we're going to be doing separate Theme Park Newsroom updates for the big announcements. And then we're going to be doing a recap of the entire event including train reveals. Uh, some other revealing topics as well, so it's going to be very, very good uh, to do a whole recap video, a whole uh, announcement recap video, so it should be brilliant. Uh, fingers crossed that'll come out on the Monday uh, next week, so fingers crossed, uh, depending on timing and stuff like that. But I hope you're all really excited about this. Sorry there wasn't a video yesterday, I was out last night, so uh, I wanted a bit of uh, free time. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind that, but we're going to get straight back into the IAPA content um, today as well. Make sure you go check out our news updates over the past few days. We've got plenty of stuff to come as well, uh, including Halloween updates from Universal Orlando and Chessington World of Adventures Resorts, which should be brilliant. So, let's get into this news update then from SeaWorld San Diego on Mako, or should I say Emperor. Now this is a bulger and maybe our flawless die coaster. And the video uh, from SeaWorld San Diego themselves was released. Um, they released it at IAPA uh, with the BN with the Bulgar and Mabial, uh, ride booth at IAPA as well. Uh, so both of them releasing uh, the information here. Um, so we're going to go through the stats while we play you this video uh, on your screen now. Fan Dabidors is so the new name of the ride is Emperor. Uh, now this is of course, the, there's two main reasons why it could be. Uh, now the new partnership with the Penguins International, that could be the reason. Or maybe avoiding confusion with Mako at SeaWorld Orlando. So again, that's a, a pretty big um, reason why. Now of course this has a length of 2,500 feet, a height of 153 feet, a drop of 143 feet, speed of 60 miles per hour, three inversions. Now, this is a pretty big coaster uh, for SeaWorld San Diego. No one ever thought this would happen. Uh, we've reported on this coaster when it was first announced, when it was announced to be called Mako. But, I love the new name. I absolutely adore the new name, Emperor. Themed around the Emperor Penguin. Uh, so, a very good theme there. A very different theme for SeaWorld Orlando. Uh, uh, San Diego. Why am I going over Orlando? Because it's Mako. Uh, San Diego, it's a very different theme for the park uh, to go with this kind of theme for a coaster. Obviously, they've got Manta, which is the Mac uh, family coaster. They've got Journey to Atlantis, which is their uh, Super Splash uh, from Mac Rides. Uh, so, they've got Electric Eel, which is their premier ride, Sky Loop. Um, so, you know, this is a very different type of coaster, and it's a very good coaster. It's SeaWorld San Diego's very own B&M. Uh, so I'm really excited to see uh, the finished product when it all gets constructed, when it all gets revealed. We know the track is on site. Uh, we know that construction on the track should start very, very soon. Uh, so construction should be going thick and fast with this coaster. Uh, kind of like with the other SeaWorld coasters in the chain, the new ones. Iron Gwazi, Pantheon, Icebreaker, uh, Texas Stingray. You know, they're all going up pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, so I think Emperor isn't too far behind. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely going to be an interesting few months to watch the construction of this. Um, and I'm really excited to follow the construction of this roller coaster. I think that it's going to be a, a brilliant investment. Um, it's going to be a fantastic investment for the park. It's going to be a brilliant investment for the SeaWorld chain, another B&M dive in America. It's California's first um, sort of dive coaster here. So... You know, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this one. So, um, I'm really excited. I hope you guys are really excited as well. I think California have been wishing for a dive coaster. We were kind of thinking Six Flags Magic Mountain could get it, but uh, it's nice to see a part like SeaWorld San Diego get it instead. So, uh, very exciting there. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching this small theme park news update on the new name of Emperor. Love the new name. I think it's better than Mako. It means people aren't going to get confused now between the hyper at Orlando and the dive at San Diego. 
uh, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, so make sure you go and stay tuned for more IAPA news updates very, very soon. For now, guys, though, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Shell, Kieran on the Ghost of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.